Hi, and welcome again to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. So this is my player ratings uh, for the Arsenal versus West Ham uh, match, which took place on Saturday. It's very, very late. Um, I had other things um, I had to, to attend to. Uh, so please accept my apologies. But, um, you know, let's get into the player ratings. And I think maybe it's going to be maybe the last player rating that I actually do uh, personally, because I do uh, a post-match, um, you know, uh, review on the match anyway, where I talk about the player's performance. So I think it's a little bit, uh, it's not necessary to do like the player rating. So um, it's probably going to be the last one that um, that I will personally do. I mean, Raz might do one um, or one of the other contributors, but me, myself and I, this is going to be the last uh, player ratings that I will do on Cannon Fodder. So let's go with um, the first one, who is uh, Czech. I'm going to give Czech a six. Well, yeah, I'll give him a six. Um, he didn't do too badly, actually. There were, there were again, still a hairy moments at the back when he's playing the ball out um, to, to the defenders who are still not comfortable in uh, Unai Emery's own system. Um, but uh, the usual was is it's going to take time uh, and a lot of patience. So check for me. Secret agent check gets a six. Bellerin is one player who divides, really divides opinion. On Twitter, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cauldron of fire. You know, people are literally just, I don't know, uh, they say literally he's good going forward and um, not great at defending. He was um, exposed uh, quite a few times, but of, of all people, by Antonio. I don't think Antonio is one of the quickest players, but it seems like whenever um, Bellerin is playing against any player of, who has like a little bit of um, pace, Bellerin is always found wanting, um, so I'm not, I'm not convinced, you know, after, you know, since this channel began that Bellerin is a defender, you know, great going forward, he had, I think, maybe um, two assists, I think, um, I think, I'm sure uh, Mr. Fury will correct me on that, but um, yeah, really good going forward, um, but going back, not enough coverage, out position, um, yeah, so I think, I'm actually, I'm going to give, um, Bellerin a five. Monreal, hmm. I think he was my player of the match. You know, he, if there's ever an example that Bellerin needs to look at is Nacho Monreal. He knows when to go, when to go forward. He knows when to defend. And the end product, he scored a goal. You know, the, the second match in for him in the season and this guy is like yeah I think he's my my um, player he was my player of the match anyway and um, yeah so he gets a seven for me both Mustafi and Socrates I have given a five they make countless blocks in the center of defense there but again they were exposed one too many times Unai Emery needs to sort that situation out there. You can't have, you know, playing your philosophy of having the players, you know, play up, high up the pitch, you know, high pressing game, and then one ball over the top or one ball through the middle. I mean, we were exposed so many times in the, in the centre of defence. So I guess if it were not for those um, last minute blocks by um, Socrates and to a certain extent um, Mustafi, then, you know, West Ham would have run out, you know, winners. Um... So yeah, they both get a, a five. My man Shaka, out of sorts <laughs> in the first half until Torreira came to his aid. You know what, for me, six, um, I, I'll give Shaka a six and a half. Um, yeah, they, they took off um, Gwendozi. Gwendozi looked a little bit um, short, uh, a little bit tired, and it's understandable, you know, three matches in the, the, the season. And um, swapped him for um, Torreira. But anyhow, um, Shaka, I will give a six and a half. Again, get, doing last minute blocks, um, long range um, passing. Um, so it seems like um, Emery was probably favours Shaka maybe more than Gwendozi, but only time is going to tell. Una Emery is still tinkering with the team. So trying to figure out, you know, which is his best starting eleven. 
um, yeah, time. I alluded to Guendozi. Guendozi probably had his um, not not his greatest um, uh, match uh, or game for Arsenal. I've given given him a four. I know he didn't last. He was um, substituted. Um, it was probably a, you know um, it was a good move by uh, Unai Emery. So he gets a four from me. I've given uh, Mkhitaryan six. Um, didn't have a bad game. Wasn't his best game either for Arsenal. But um, yeah, he gets a six. He will be. Again, was substituted. Um, he didn't do anything wrong, but he didn't do re you know really uh, much right. I mean, he always trying to go forward, trying to break through the lines, but it just wasn't happening for him. Um, so he gets a five. Ramsey gets a six um, from me. Mm. Yeah, I don't know whether the contract is still playing on his mind because it's still not the Ramsey that we're used to seeing. You know, making the deep runs. It could be the formation. You know, he's still trying to get used to the formations. Um, who's going to play in that number 10 role? Because Ozil, again, you know, on Twitter, it's like, yeah, we're very divided over um, Ozil. And there is speculation, it is speculation, because we're not going to know the truth, really what happened. But um, the speculation is that there was some kind of bust up uh, between uh, Unai Emery and Ozil. The uh, allegation is that um, after Emery, one demanded more from um, Unai, um, from um, Ozil, and two proposed that he play in a different position. That um, apparently, allegedly, Ozil threw a strop, and um, yeah, he pulled out the sick note. So that is uh, the the uh, the speculation and the allegation. Again, we're not going to know the truth because neither one of us was actually there. Um, oh, Abamyang. Ah, yeah, his confidence seems to be shot, isn't it? I mean, since the, the Chelsea match where he missed, you know, those, those chances there, he's, he's not been the same player. That's one thing. But the other thing is, which was really disappointing, was his hold-up play. He was just not holding up the ball. I know he was injured. Uh, I can't remember the player who, like, like fouled him there. It was quite a nasty um, tackle there. But from that point there on in, he, uh, Aubameyang, yeah, he, um, he just needs to keep going. You know, all you know, good strikers just keep going on. Once the um, the opportunity comes, you know, I'm sure he'll put it away. You know, but yeah, it's another um, four um, from me. That's two weeks actually. I think last week I gave um, a Bamiang a four. Right. So the um, the substitutions. Uh, Emery put on Lacazette again. I've given Lacazette a seven. It could maybe a seven and a half. Um, again, change the game going forward. And I did award the goal to Lacazette because I, I know it came off the, deflected from the defender. I think at that time people thought it came off um, Aubameyang, but no, it, it came off last off the um, the defender. But yeah, I'll give uh, <coughs> excuse me Lacazette a seven and a half. Torreira, uh, I mentioned uh, before, uh, came on, and I'm going to give him a seven. It could be a new um, partnership, you know, both um, uh, Shaka and Torreira. Um, yeah, Shaka looked a lot more solid and more comfortable, maybe knowing fully well that he's got Torreira um, beside him, protecting uh, the, the back four. Um, and I've given Welbeck, you know, if you saw the live stream, <laughs> we were talking about Welbeck, uh, DJ Fury saying that, yeah, he should have been sold. But well, back he is an enigma. Just when you think, you know, ah, oh, this guy's, you know, Bambi on ice, you know, he can't s score goal for squat, you know, diddly. You know, you've got uh, Aubameyang and Lacazette literally fighting to score their first goals of the season. Welbeck comes on and scores, what, is it the third minute of um, <laughs> extra time? Yeah, anyway, I've given him, I put here a six, but I'll give him a five because he wasn't on... Uh, the pitch long enough for me to give him like a, a, a real uh, mark, but I'll give him a five anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for me. Just one other thing, um, I did mention. Well, actually, no, I didn't mention. It was um, Raz mentioned on his channel um, that he's going to be at Cardiff because we know Arsenal are playing at Cardiff. It's not Saturday. It's going to be Sunday, the second of September, and I think maybe it's going to be an early kickoff. Um, but that's something I always check up on. But um, the date has changed because we are in the Europa League. But yeah, yeah, that's it for me, man. So from um, a slightly damp uh, London, 
This has been Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. Breaking news.